Need stop. Need stop. Hi there, Scary Gary here. Our neat, next neat stuff is going to be command strips. Your trailer, if maybe it's your full-time home, maybe it's your home away from home, but you like to make it your home. And one way to put a lot of the items on in the trailer that you want to hang up on the wall and keep on the wall is command strips. I saw this on several other YouTube videos of people suggesting them, and I immediately tried it two years ago, and unfortunately, a lot of the items I put up there fell to the floor very fast. Uh, I've heard that when you go down the road, it's virtually a 4.0 earthquake inside your unit. And sure enough, they fell down. So I got to looking at maybe what's my problem was I didn't prep the surface good enough. It states right on the package to make sure that you have a clean surface. And the best way to clean the surface is to use some rubbing alcohol or isoprobic alcohol, you know, I don't care if it's 1% or 5% or whatever the case is. But use that. It's very clean. It doesn't stain things and it gets whatever little oil residues, dust off. And when every time that I've used it on the wall, before I put something else up, the item sticks. There's basically two types of command strips. Uh, there's the ones that are virtually like a Velcro. They've got one, they've got two sides. So it's things like the clock, the things you're gonna have to take up and down, that's the best thing to do. Uh, things that stay up there forever, you can use the ones that are just sticky, like a sticky piece of foam, like a double sticking tape, but they are so that you can remove them and they don't hurt your surfaces. And my wife has picked up this, oh, little deal at a, some dollar store or something and I think she got it for almost nothing like three bucks 299 it says on there. and I've just taken off the standard thing that hangs on it because you know if you hang that on your wall of your camper how long is it going to stay so we're going to use the command strips on it I have pulled the adhesive off the back of these and I've placed seven on here and then you basically just line them up on your spots and push them all the way around on all the areas. Next step is just to pull the adhesive off the parts of this back part. Now there's one key step using control command strips around here and that is to clean the area that you're going to put them up and one of the best things to clean them with is just a little bit of rubbing alcohol i just put some on my paper towel here and this is where we're going to put it and i just basically wipe the wall down And then you let it dry completely, and then we'll put up the, the picture. And the final step is basically putting it in place, just making sure it's level. And that's really all there is to it. Applying some pressure on the corners where there's wood to adhere it to the wall. And we'll see how it keep how it and we will see how it reacts to the earthquake. All in all, most of the items we have on these walls have been up there for two years and they have not fallen off. And that's we've gone about eleven thousand miles with those items on the wall. So I think command strips are pretty neat stuff. Thanks. We'll see you next time on the road. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Comments down below. Hit the subscribe button. You'll make